Last December, after a decade of working along with the Belize City Youth, the apprenticeship program graduated another 60 men and women after having met all the requirements and excelling during the six-month course. But their certificates were missing a signature, and it wasn't until today that the signed documents were handed over to the apprentices. Today, there was a treat because what you know, Daniel Loveless from the Caribbean show was present for the event. Today, because Daniel is in our country, I worked it around his um, visit so that he can do us the honor and give them their um, certificate. This is a youth apprenticeship program, and so him being the person who he is, um, who better than to have them laugh and um, enjoy a moment of um, just gratitude for life. I just want to encourage them to not, you know, not to give up on your dreams. You know, you believe that anything is possible. Anything you put your mind to, as long as your mind could conceive and believe, then oh boy, you definitely could achieve it. You know. So I just want to encourage them to, you know, to not to give up and to keep pushing to achieve, you know, whatever goals or, or um, vision they have. You know. Also present for today's event was another graduate of the apprenticeship program, Akeem Gill, for some years now, has been working in the cruise ship industry. He's back home on vacation and shared some inspiring words with the apprentices. We want to inspire them to understand that all those individuals were where they started. And so these individuals must motivate them to understand that they can also reach their level of greatness. A ladder it's step by step in order to reach the top. There's no easy way out of it. And so um, when we bring back these past apprentices, it's just to inspire them and motivate them. How did you get to where you are? That's the, that's the question and the response is what they take back with them in order to per persevere and become their greater self. One of the messages that resounded was that sometimes the support that a young person needs cannot necessarily be found at home. They want to remain in the program, but their lack, their necessary resources to keep them in the program. Again, we go to the extent of speaking to their partners because there are some of them who their partners have always had them home. So now that they are out there, now that they are aspiring, it's an issue. They see it as competition. So how do you get them to understand that this is a partnership? Two checks coming into the house can only make things better. And so there's a lack of mentorship among our people to understand their journey. As a family, it doesn't matter who it is, a cousin, a friend, a, um, aunt, uncle, whosoever, you've got to come together to nurture someone who is trying to climb that ladder of greatness. You have to do that, you understand? If you don't do that, they feel obligated to go outside of their comfort zone. And oftentimes, outside is where the danger happens. If you don't know, I know. Dwayne Moody for News 5.